If we don't need taxpayers' money for that purpose, let's not collect it at all. The state might be putting money back in your pocket in the near future if Governor Rick Perry has his way. Today's State of the Strait Address brought talk of tax relief for some Texans. But with so many recent cuts to public schools and health care, critics say it's not the best use of that money. KXAN political reporter Josh Hinkle was at the Capitol today. Josh. That's right. Governor Perry wants to give $1.8 billion in tax relief. And if the state brings in more tax money than it needs, give it back to Texans, something he wants to fix in the state's constitution. It is my pleasure to report that the state of our state is stronger than ever. Talk of tax relief was a welcome conversation for the crowd in the Texas House. We've never bought into the notion that if you collect more, you need to spend more. But for some, money back didn't make up for billions cut from schools and health care last legislative session. I'm not sure why he didn't speak more about it. You can find it at my main site. A protester in the balcony cut Governor Perry off, shouting for answers about the state's uninsured. Well, it woke me up. <laughs> Troopers escorted this group out of the chamber, chanting about the federal Medicaid expansion that would have helped cover millions more Texans. 16,000, 16,000 petitions. The group says it delivered petitions to Perry's office last fall, but nothing changed. I believe we need to continue to talk about the Medicaid expansion and not take no for an answer. Despite Democrats urging, Perry stands firm against the federal health care law. No Medicaid money from Washington and no help from Texas setting up a state insurance exchange. We have not changed and will not change our position on that one iota. Another major point with money, the governor says Texas should invest $3.7 billion from the rainy day fund for one-time infrastructure projects like water resources. This is a different move on his part as he has always warned lawmakers not to tap that fund. Josh Hinkle, KXAN News. Josh, thanks for that. Looking more in depth now at the governor's plans for education here in Texas. He outlined separate plans for public schools and universities. The governor wants to cut costs by offering more charter schools in Texas. He wants scholarships to give parents more options to pay for private schools. The governor also wants to give students more flexibility to choose classes to prepare for jobs. When it comes to higher education, Governor Perry renewed his call for colleges to develop $10,000 degree programs. He wants state schools to freeze tuition for incoming college freshmen. That way, they'd pay the same rates for four years. The governor also called on campuses to find ways to help students graduate sooner.